वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम सिक्स डैश थर्टी फोर सो स्टेटमेंट इज ड्रॉ द शेयर एंड मूवमेंट डायग्राम फॉर द कैंटिलीवर बीम सो यू कैन सी दिस इज अ कैंटिलीवर बीम एंड देर इज अ पॉइंट लोड ऑफ टू किलो न्यूटन एट वन एंड द अदर एंड इज फिक्स सपोर्ट यू कैन से सो वी हैव टू फाइंड द शेयर एंड मूवमेंट डायग्राम फॉर दिस कैंटिलीवर बीम so let's start with the solution as you know that first step is that if you remove this support so definitely there will be a vertical reaction force which is r a let this reaction force is r a and there will be a moment which is equal to m a we will also have a horizontal force a x you can see the a x but Uh, this will be equal to zero as there is no shear uh, horizontal force so we will neglect this as well so by using equilibrium condition we will find uh, this unknown reaction forces equation of equilibrium so first equilibrium condition is that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero and force in upward direction is positive so we have two forces one is r a and that is upward while the second one is downward which is 2 kilo newton so r a minus uh minus 2 kilo newton is equal to 0 so it means that r a which is the vertical component at point a is equal to 2 kilo newton okay now we will find another uh, unknown that is moment so sum of all moment about point a is equal to 0 and taking the counter clockwise moment as positive so at point a we have a counter clockwise moment which will be ma the second moment is due to this 2 kilo newton load and perpendicular distance is this 3 meter and third moment is this 3 kilo newton into meter which is clockwise so ma minus 3 minus 2 into 3 is equal to 0 so from here when you calculate it you will get ma is equal to 9 kilo newton into meter now we will draw them to get Uh, the shear force and bending moment diagram so again for that i have to draw a vertical line from the ends clear and this it will be along the length which is x in meter here we will have a shear force in kilo newton now you can see that we have a uh, 2 kilo newton which is r a at point a so let each division is 1 kilo newton this will be 2 kilo newton so we will be having 2 kilometer kilo newton over here and you can see from a till this end we have no other force so it will remain same so if i draw it like a horizontal line it will be this and again at this end you have 2 kilo newton downward so it will go down so this is your shear force and bending moment diagram will be like i will draw it over here so this will moment will be equal in kilo newton into meter now you can see that here we have external moment which is counter clockwise so there is a rule that if you have moment in uh, counter clockwise direction so bending moment will go downward so it, we will plot it in negative value and this is 9 km newton into meter so one division is 3 6 and 9 minus 3 minus 6 and 9 so your first point will be this one and again uh, from this point till from this point till 3 kilo newton into meter there is no other moment so it will uh what we will do is that you can see that uh we will have a a a, a moment that is 3 kilo newton that is clockwise in direction so while drawing in bending moment it is rule that it will be plus uh 3 clear so minus 
plus 3 will be minus 6 at this point. So bending moment will change to minus 6. So at this point if I plot it, so bending moment will change to this. Because you can see also, uh, you can see that shear force is a zero degree line. So bending moment till this point will be one degree higher. So this is your minus six. Now, uh, uh, so minus nine. And this will be till this. It will be minus six. Okay, so we have a mistake over here. Let me correct it. This is your minus 9 at point A. Clear. And if you look at this uh, shear force diagram, so area under this shear force diagram will give you the movement. And this area is 2 into 1.3, which is equal to um, 2 into 1.5, which is equal to 3. So at this point, minus 9 plus 3 is minus 6 now at this point you can see that here there is a clockwise movement so again you know that while drawing bending movement diagram so you have to take it because clockwise will cause it to move it so it will be in plus direction so minus 6 plus 3 will again give you minus 3 so at this point the bending movement will change from minus 6 to minus 3 it will go to this point okay and the remaining this portion where we will have the bending moment so 1.3 into 2 which is equal to plus 3 so minus 3 this is minus 3 and this area this remaining area which is equal to 2 into this length 1.3 will give you 1.5 will give you 3 so minus 3 plus 3 will be equal to 0 so movement will be 0 at this point so we will join these two points and this will be your bending moment diagram so let me share this is your shear force diagram clear and if i select another color so this will be your bending moment diagram. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Uh, if you are new to my channel, then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get the notification about my latest videos. And if you have any question, you can ask me in comment section. Thank you for watching.